Noble Rot Society asks, Gary, when you left Wine Library to start VaynerMedia, was it a conscious decision not to have someone take over Wine Library TV? This is a great question. People have asked me this question a lot and I want to interject some depth, like the last couple questions, last couple episodes with some of this kind of fun stuff and insight that I've never talked about. You know, I don't know if it was a conscious decision. Nobody really raised their hand. Nobody wanted that spot. It's kind of like my speaking career right now. Knock on wood, I'm doing so well. The bad part is I have to always speak last because nobody wants to go next. Um, you know, I don't think there was the right or obvious choice internally at, at Wine Library to jump on it. Ian, Brandon, you know, all these great people internally just didn't want to have the kind of, um, you know, not responsibility. Should, look, it takes a certain personality to put yourself out there. We've talked about in the past, my blog post on this the other day did really well. You can link that with someone. Uh, so it wasn't a conscious choice, it was the right choice. If that person existed in the building, maybe it would have continued in that manner. But I think one thing that I'm really focused on and why I took this question to interweave it to everybody else while answering it is, I think you have to assess. Like you always have to assess. And I think way too many people come in with what they want it to be. The notion of somebody will take over this show and then you're forcing somebody to sit in the hot seat and then you really lose the luster of it. Uh, not to mention, I may want to uh, jump back in that seat one day. <laughs>